Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with another ClickFunnels quick tip. And today we are going to come down here and we're going to click on this little settings tab here, these little three dots right there. We're going to click on that and open it up. And you got a whole bunch of different options in here. We'll start with the easiest one, which is remove. If you click on that, we will remove this page from the funnel. We don't really want to do that, so we'll leave it alone. We can do a split test page. So we can click on this here and we can say, okay, well, we want to do a new page. And so let's just choose this one here as our new page, obviously fill out all the information and we can say create a page and we'll give it a second here to load back up and see what we get on our page. And that's exactly what it did. It just automatically did the split test for us. Whereas in earlier videos we showed you can come over here and we could do a split test right there. So you click on a node and this opens up and let me just show you that in case you forgot we'll click on this here opens it up you can do a split test right there uh, so this does it automatically right from a page itself so now let's just delete this one back out of here and I think it's going to take out both of these images and that's fine so let's just come over to this one right here and let's do it again because there I did it with a new a new page well, we can also do it by duplicating our existing page. So we're gonna do it in that case. So let's say you only want to test, you know that the, the one, the control that you have is doing really well, and all you wanna do is just try a new headline. And so you just make a clone of it, you do the split test, you change out the headline on the second one, and then you run it through, and that is as simple as it gets, is by just putting that in there. And again, we can come up here and we can delete that right back out. And let's go back to our three dots over here. And we can also, we can clone the page here, so it just clones it, it doesn't do the split test or anything else like that. We can click on this here, go, we can add a product. As I showed you in other, in another video here, you can click on that, come in, we can say we want to add a product in here, and we will click on add a product. And again, I showed you how to do that in another video and all the different various settings that you can set up in each one of these, including in this case here, which one of the variants you want to show on the page for this particular funnel for that particular product. So let's, I uh, got to keep Xing out of here. Let's see what else we can do here. That was okay. That was manage our products. We can manage our events. Now this is something very, very new. Again, this is November. 2023 we're just coming off of funnel hacking live and they put in a bunch of calendar stuff and events and and all kinds of stuff like that and i'm going to admit i have not used this function yet but you can see on the screen here you can give it a name uh the event type start times all this stuff here so like i said haven't really used this so i can't tell you a whole lot about how to use it either uh, let me see here, we can attach a workflow. And so again, we'll talk more about workflows in other places, but let's say we're gonna select this workflow and we're going to say, okay, um, there's a bunch of different conditions down here again, just like the conditional split paths were. Uh, so let's say we uh, applied a tag. If we applied a tag at this point to the person who's on this page, then we want to run this workflow. So we apply the tag right there, and then boom, that workflow will start running on the person. If we want to ever take them off, we would just come in and we would do the exact opposite. We would say, remove the tag. So if they get to a certain step or they make a purchase or something, we can say, we remove the tag, it will remove the workflow because it's being the workflow is being triggered by the tag being on that person's customer file. And so let me see here, attach the workflow. We got our step settings. And that's pretty simple. Again, it's the name of the page and the path of the page. And I showed you earlier, you can easily just put in some other, um, some other words here. Like we'll just put test here at the end and then you save it and that will change the path on that page. So again, if you end up with a path with a bunch of, it's like dash dash and numbers and letters on there, just delete off the dash dash and those numbers and letters and put any other word there because every single path on a page has to be different, uh, especially if you got the same domain that you're using. Every path has to be different because you can't have two uh, two uh, pages having exactly the same. So you would click on update and there's one item left and I'm going to leave that for another video because there's a lot of stuff to talk about in there. So that's it for today. If you got any questions, just let me know.